Okay guys, got another review for you. You would have saw just in the intro, myself making a brew, and uh, we're gonna review the Clean Canteen Insulated Mug slash Bottle, call it what you wish. This is the one I've been using for a good few months now. I use it every single day, multiple times a day, either um, on the train, going to and from work, or at my desk, or out on adventures, and I just want to have a, a quick brew with me. Usually I will carry my, my brew kit as well, but uh, just having this with a pre-made up brew in it is fantastic. So I just want to run you through it. It is stainless steel, it is from Clean Canteen, so we should all know and love what they get on with with their branding. Um, camera's not picking up just so well, but underneath here it says uh, vacuum insulated and it says Clean Canteen. Gives you all your usual hints and tips of um, that will keep drinks hot or cold. Gives you the stainless steel, it's 18 8 stainless and uh, it just basically says don't microwave obviously because it's stainless, don't freeze. Hand wash is recommended. I have to be honest I have put this in the dishwasher um, but usually I would hand wash it. So what do you get? Well this is the 300 and 55ml or 12 ounce bottle comes in a bigger one comes in the uh, 400 and 470 mil as well uh, I think it's about 470 mil so you can get a slightly larger one obviously with the double wall insulation it does look a wee bit big but uh, to be honest if you think 350 mil is roughly the size of a tin of coke or uh, you know any other sort of fizzy drinks so you're sort of chatting that their size and that for a brew is perfect that's just over a standard mug full so uh, again perfect perfect for um, for traveling now what I normally do is um, fill up my brew as you've seen make that up and I'll just fire that in my bag um, on the side of my currently I'm using the Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon 2 check out my review on that and uh, there's two side pouches so I just throw this in one side pouch and then that's my brew ready for when I get on the train or when I get into work. So I have actually uh, sort of forgotten about this and sort of fell asleep on the train, got into work and I've got a ready made brew which is fantastic. So um, and that's well over like an hour, an hour and a half journey on the train. Um, this says it will stay warm up to six hours and up to 24 hours for cold drinks. I have tested this uh, just by leaving boiling water in it and uh, leaving it overnight just sealed up leaving it in the kitchen and it was still warm could well have done a brew no problem obviously if you're mixing hot and cold stuff you're going to put um, milk inside this as well you're going to drop down your time frame keeping things hot obviously because you're dropping the temperature of the liquid down but uh, we'll, we'll not get into all that sort of scientific sort of spec of it. This I love this black colour that it comes in. You can have just the, the stainless so you can have it like this. This is the obviously the clean canteen tumbler so you can have this um, finish on it if you wish. Up to you guys. I actually like the black. Um, I think it's called like an eclipse type um, finish on it. I quite like it. I get a lot of looks from people on the train wondering what this is and uh, just the quality because you don't normally see these sort of style containers from commuters on the train normally you'll see sort of this um, style with a wee plastic pop-up you'll normally see something up there or you'll see sort of this coming from commuters this is meant to be you can plug it into your cigarette charger and keep it warm why would I want to mix electrical stuff there's a charge lead why would I want to mix that there when I've got hot drinks um, it's just adding an extra step for me so to me that's that's redundant and as we know the lids never seem to seal properly always has a problem with spillage same here lid might fit grand some days other days it's a pain in the bum to get off and uh, then having a bit of leakage around the seal and sometimes again I find drinking out of these you go take a drink and see that nothing's coming out because it's sort of um, under 
uh, like a pressure or something that's not coming out properly and then you end up getting a gush of coffee and burning yourself. So I don't like these. I've had it for years. I've used it for years because I couldn't find anything else that suited because I didn't like these. Um, so then when the clean canteen stuff came along I thought I have to get one of these. Perfect size for commuting. So comparing it to that, again your double wall insulation it makes it a bit fatter but uh, this has got little to no insulation. I would not have a hot brew in this mug if after an hour. It's just rubbish. You know, good for quick stuff, not good for, for what I need it for on the train. So I've had loads of people on the train asking me about um, these sort of containers and I've just pointed them um, to definitely get one of these. And they've bought them, they came back to me and went, at least I have a hot brew <laughs> and it lasts. So on the top here you've got your nice uh, plastic lid, hard plastic on the inside of it, I'll show you in a minute. There it is, stainless lined. Um, I will be brutally honest, here is cool to the touch, cold to the touch. The top it is a wee bit warm so it does radiate a slight bit of heat out of here but nothing to concern you about really. The uh, slightly less insulation up here but I will show you inside it. Most important thing I love about this um, cup is it is leak proof. So you can hear I've got my brew inside there and <laughs> it's not coming out just yet. So uh, we're going to have a wee look inside in a second. But uh, it's leak proof. I have fired this in the car with a brew in it. I've chucked it in a bag. I've had people um, asking me when they're going out playing golf, they want to bring a brew with them. I say get one of these. They've had coffee and tea leak onto their kit. I just say just go buy a clean canteen mug. The seal is fantastic, keeps it warm when you're out and it's perfect size for just a brew. Now uh, if I've been out camping or out a, a day in the woods I might make a brew up in the woods, put it in this and then when I'm walking around I still have access to a hot drink. Um, would be very very good if you're going out camping um, just to have a brew made up, keep it in here and then just sip it during the, the evening maybe if you're getting cold or thirsty you have a hot drink during the night. So it is excellent. So let's crack on, let's have a wee look inside. So let's take the lid off, find the lid very very easy to come off and there's my coffee just to prove that I, there is coffee in it and uh, I have been turning upside down and nothing's been leaking out. There's your stainless in there, it is patented um, but you can see what I mean by around the sides you don't have, you have a good thick bit of plastic um, but you don't have the same double insulation as you would have on the main bottle so there is heat will radiate out of this and um, they don't say it's going to be hot forever so they're not sort of lying to you but uh, stainless cap in there and if you can look carefully look around the edge between the steel and the edge of the wall you can see your thick rubber seal and that there is fantastic that's what keeps this um, your brew nice and hot now that's it on hot leak proof job done with these you're sort of making sure you have a crank down hard so it doesn't leak with these there's not a mission, I'm going to turn that upside down. Um, obviously you've got your drinking spout here anyway. To see in that corner you've got your drinking spout. It's just rubbish, I don't like that. Um, having the wide mouth on this for drinking out of is perfect for me. And that's really it. So that's my clean canteen um, mug, bottle, whatever you want to call it. Feel about Honey Hanes. So uh, please get along there, have a look. And uh, pricing as of this video, subject to change, it's $18.95 for this particular one. And let's go from there. So cheers everybody. Thank you very much for the support. Thank you for the subscribers um, on the videos. It's much appreciated. Any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. Check us out on Facebook or uh, Twitter. And please check out the new website, honey.com. Totally new layout on that. I'll be doing a video on that sometime soon. And uh, 
but there, I'm going to enjoy my coffee. So, thanks for watching.